Today, Mongo, I challenge you to a volcano house build battle. That's super easy, Wudo. Look, I can build a volcano right now. Check it out. This one looks super cool, and it has lava at the top. Mongo, is this supposed to be your volcano? This looks like a giant mound of lava poop. What do you mean, Wudo? It looks really good. You just don't want to lose the build battle. Mongo's right. If I'm gonna win, I'm gonna need a real volcano. And luckily, I have just the thing to beat Mongo. Let me go over here and use this special command. Just like this. And whoa, a giant volcano just spawned in. This is so sick. Wait a second, Vudo. Where did my volcano go? Oh my gosh, look at Mongo. He's a little red speck on my screen. He he has no idea that I spawned this in. Oh, I'm totally gonna win. Don't worry about it, Mongo. You just build your little volcano. I'll see you in 10 minutes when the timer is up. Okay, just so you know, I'm gonna make my volcano much bigger and much cooler than what you saw earlier. Sure, Mongo, in your dreams. Anyways, though, now that I have a nice big volcano automatically built for me, I can actually actually start working on the volcano house. Let's go inside the volcano right over here to do it. Behold, I have been summoned. Wait, what in the world? Is that Axie? Axie, where did you come from? Oh, uh, you know, just from inside the volcano. Well, can you help me build a giant volcano house? I thought you'd never ask, Woodo. I'm an expert in building volcano houses. Perfect. Then let's do exactly that, Axie. As you can see, I just drained a bit of the lava. And inside, you can see that there is plenty of space for us to build inside this volcano together. So come on, Axie. Let's patch up these holes and start building. What should we do first inside our giant volcano house? Wait, before that, Woodo, I have just one question. Um, okay. What is it? Uh, what's a volcano house again? A volcano? Oh my gosh, Axie. Just look at this massive behemoth of a natural disaster. Volcanoes are the biggest and scariest things in real life and that's why we're building a secret house inside of it so that mongo can never find it <laughs> wait seriously i thought this was a fun nice place not a place that would kill me it is a fun nice place after you get finished with all the lava of course come on axie what we're going to do is we're going to build a way for us to hop down inside this volcano as you can see you can get inside through the top but there needs to be some place to land on and luckily slime blocks are perfect for this because they give a nice big area for you to bounce on when you fall inside that makes sense Woodo, you're green are you made of slime blocks what i'm not made of slime blocks silly i'm just a turtle that's why i'm green axie oh that makes sense all right well now that we're done with that that, what I can do is start building out the floor of our volcano. This is going to be the first floor of our secret volcano house. Do you have any ideas of what we should put inside of it, Axie? We should put an ice cream bar. An ice cream bar? Whoa, that sounds like a really good idea. But if we want to fit all that and then some, I better clear out a good bit of space. Luckily, I can use my special fancy wand tool to do exactly that. All I need to do is select these blocks and then go all the way down here and then delete everything. It looks like there's even water inside this volcano. That was weird. Water? Can we turn it into ice cream? What? You 
can't turn water into ice cream, silly, but you can turn cream into ice cream. Come on, Axie. Let me just finish clearing out the entire inside just like this. And now there's plenty of space for us to build the first floor of our house. Let's see. What do I want to build first, though? I think I'm going to add a nice big staircase from the entrance of the volcano just like this and make it go all the way down to the first floor. Axie, can you please put some stairs on this staircase? Okay, I'll do the boring stuff. Thanks, Axie. Now that you're going to do that, I can start actually building out the foundation of what will be the floor of the first part of our house. And that's where you're going to build your ice cream parlor, by the way. Oh, yay! You don't think the ice cream will melt from all the lava, do you? Don't worry, Axie. That's why we're going to add a freezer as well to keep everything nice and cold. Now that I have this nice big area laid out for us, Axie, I think we should start by building a bedroom. And you know what I like to have in my bedrooms when I build a secret house? Um, beds? Hold on a second, Axie. How did you know exactly what I like? I'm just a genius like that. Oh my gosh, Axie. Well, that's correct. I do want a nice big bed inside my house. So I'm going to build a nice big green one right over here. And I'm also going to add a bunch of fluffy pillows because I love a big fluffy pillow when I go to bed. Right, Axie? Yeah. And look, Wudo, I made a closet. Ooh, a closet. This can be a good hiding spot. But for for now, we don't need any hiding spots, Axie. What about your bed? Do you want to sleep right over here next to me? Mm, maybe I'll sleep in my closet. Wait, what? You're going to sleep in this tiny little closet? Yeah, this will be my bedroom. Okay, well, in that case, I better get you a nice little pink bed. Instead of a big bed like that, Axie, how about I get you a little tiny bed that fits your tiny little body just like that. Okay, but I'm not that tiny. You're pretty tiny, Axie. Come on! What I can also get you is some other cool stuff. What else do you want inside your room? How about a little bit of a bench? Aww. That's pretty nice, I guess. Can I have a whole kitchen in my room? A whole kitchen? I don't know about a whole kitchen, but I can get you a stove and I can get you your favorite treat, cake. I think it's time for a bedroom expansion. Wait, what? You just finished building your bedroom. You can't expand it already, silly. I can do whatever I want. Look, now I have nine blocks available. Oh, okay, perfect. Well, in that case, I guess I can give you one more thing. I'm going to give you a refrigerator so that you can put your leftovers in the fridge. Thanks, Wudo. This is the best bedroom I've ever had. Yay! I'm even going to give you one last thing, Axie. Okay? And I think you're going to absolutely love it. Okay, Wudo. <gasps> is that an axolotl plushie? It is! Look at how cute and tiny it is with its cute little face. It looks just like you, Axie. So that'll be for you. And that completes your tiny little bedroom. I'm gonna love this plushie forever! Alright, Axie. Well, now that your bedroom is done, it's time to go back to Wudo's bedroom. Bedroom, and I like my bedrooms big. So I'm going to build myself an extra large nightstand where I can enjoy some nice cookies and milk before I go to bed. I don't know if you should be eating cookies every night. You're going to get fat. Well, what about you, Axie? You eat cake every night. That's different. I'm an axolotl, silly. So what? That doesn't make any difference. Ugh, whatever. Let me just go ahead and grab some cookies. Cookies, and whoa, I have a lot of options for cookies. I think I'm going to get myself a nice big cookie tray and I'm going to put it all along here. Let me also grab a nice cup of milk. Ooh, I'll drink the milk from the carton just like this. Check it out, Axie. This is a lot of milk and cookies. It's almost too much for me. Why is this table so tall? I can barely see the top. Because, Axie, I I like my beds big so that I can sleep however I want. That's 
that's a little bit weird, but okay. Well, now that I have that all done, Axie, I probably want something else inside my room to match everything. Do you know what I like to have next to my bed? Uh, zombies? No, in case I get a stomach ache in the middle of the night from eating all those cookies, I'm going to need a bathroom. So I'm going to build a little separate room over here where I can go use the potty just in case I ever need to go in the middle of the night. Whoa, this bathroom is like three times the size of my room. I know, Axie, but don't worry. You can use this bathroom too, as long as you don't mind the smell of my farts. <laughs> I'm gonna make Mongo's room in the bathroom. What? That's so mean. Don't do that, silly. It'll be fine. I'm sure Mongo likes being near the bathroom, right? I guess so, Axie. Anyways, let me just put the toilets right over here. I'll put three, just in case I'm feeling a little bit lucky. And then what I'll do is I'll grab a sink just like this, and I'll put a nice sink all along the edge right over here to wash my hands. I should probably get a mirror as well so that I can look at myself and admire how amazing I look. Right, Axie? What? Oh, you're admiring how amazing I look? Thanks, Wudo. Um, okay, I guess we all look really good, but check it out. Doesn't that mirror look awesome? I'll even put a mirror right over here so I can look at myself while I take a big poop. <laughs> Hopefully, Mongo doesn't come out of his room right when you're taking a big poop. Yeah, that would be bad. You know what? I think in Mongo's room, we should just put one single toilet right over here and one plunger just in case he has too big of a poop. And I think that's perfect, Axie. Let's leave it at this. Do you think he's gonna sleep on the toilet? Yeah, it's Mongo. I'm sure he'll sleep anywhere. Now, I'll just put a nice golden door to make it look like it's a fancy room. And just like that, he'll love it because all he likes is the color red anyways. That's true. We were already super nice to him by making the room red. Exactly! He's gonna have his own volcano too, so don't forget about that. But anyways, now that my bathroom is done, I can put some water inside the sinks just like this, and I guess that pretty much sums everything up. Except for one thing. I wanna add a tub. A tub? For what? Cooking? No! Oh, silly, a tub for taking a bath because turtles love taking nice warm baths. So I'm going to add one right over here. Oh, I've never taken a bath before. How is that different from swimming? Well, because you don't have to swim. You can just sit in the tub. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to add two tubs so you can have one too, Axie. Yay! Uh, I feel like there should be mud in it, though. Muddy tubs? Oh, no. That would be a bad idea, Axie, because then you would get super dirty, and nobody wants a dirty tub. I want a dirty tub. Besides, mud is not dirty. Okay, fine. Well, then how about this, Axie? Why don't you come over here? And next to my bed, we can build something even cooler than just a tub. Mm, what do you have in mind? Well, I want to build a giant pool inside of my bedroom. That way, we can both go swimming whenever we want. Because after all, I'm a turtle and you're an axolotl. And the two things that we love most are the water. Yeah, I do like the water. Can I help? Sure, Axie. Why don't you come over here? What I'm going to do is I'm also going to add some fire pits to make sure that it's nice, hot, and bubbly inside of our jacuzzi. This seems kind of scary, Woodle. I don't really want to eat roast turtle. Don't worry. You're not going to get roasted, silly. It's just really, really warm. All I need to do is set this area to water and now I have a bedside pool for whenever I want to take a nice little bath. Ah, this is the life. That's 
nice and all, Wudo, but I'm going to make a better pool. Um, okay, sure. And while Axie does that, I'm going to go ahead and add some beautiful paintings right next to my bed. Ooh, these look very, very fancy. And that's going to make my room look really cool. I'm also going to set the walls of my room to green wool because after all, I love the color green and there's no better color than that. So let me just make the walls all green just like this. And I think that pretty much sums up the first floor of my amazing secret volcano house. What do you think, Axie? And my pool is done. Wait, what? That is your pool, Axie? That's a mud pool. Ew. It's super relaxing. It feels nice on your feet. And it's very good for your skin. Okay, well, if you like it, Axie, then that's totally fine. I won't judge you. You have to try it too, you know. There's no way I'm going to try that, Axie. But what I will try instead is to build a living room over on this side of the first floor. What should we put in our living room, Axie? Um, well, it is called a living room. So maybe we should fill it with plants that are alive. Um, Axie, I think you're taking it a little bit too literally we're supposed to build something that we can enjoy together that's what makes it a living room otherwise it would just be a dead room but wouldn't plants in the living room be cool anyway sure i think that would be but the first thing i want to do and it's the most important thing that i want to do is i want to build a massive tv but this isn't going to be any tv Axie, because I'm going to build a giant double decker TV. Whoa, what's a double decker TV? Well, you see, I can put one TV over here, but then I can divide it in the middle, and then I can put another TV right over here to the side of it so that I can watch two things at once. And guess what, two things I want to watch at once? Mm. A nature documentary and a horror movie? No way! I want to watch this Wudo video and then another Wudo video! Duh! Oh! Okay, Wudo. Let me help you by putting down some couches. Perfect! And wait a second, Axie. That couch is way too close to the TV. Your eyes are gonna get fried! Don't worry. I made this one a little bit further. So what situation are you gonna use this couch for? This is when you want to see the movie in Super Ultra Mega HD. And this one is for if you want to see it really tiny and zoomed out like a bug. Oh, interesting. Well, I think I want to sit in this couch when I see the subscribe button come up. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe in 3, 2, 1. Thank you for subscribing. Now you can watch me and Axie watch TV really, really close to the screen because I guess that's the best way to watch the greatest Wudo videos ever. This one pixel is so beautiful. Oh gosh, Axie's a little bit too obsessed with the new TV. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna work on something else along the edge here. I know I built a mini little kitchen for Axie, but I wanna to add an even bigger one so that I can mass produce cookies. So I'm going to add a huge stove area over here where we have a ton of furnaces to bake as many cookies as possible. Yay! Wait, did you say bake cookies? Yeah! What's wrong with cookies? Don't you love cookies too, Axie? They're basically like cakes, except they're like 10 times better. No, they're so Super dry and boring. Cake is so much better than cookies. There's no way. I know that everyone is going to comment about how much they love cookies more than cake. I know all the subscribers know that cake is better, so you should comment cake. Okay, well, everyone's going to comment either cake or cookie to decide which one's best. But regardless, these stoves are going to be perfect to cook whatever we want to cook anyways. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of refrigerators for us to refrigerate any of the leftovers. Axie, could you also help me by placing down some counters? Because we're going to have
have a lot of storage for as many ingredients as possible and <gasps> wait what axie this is too many refrigerators why are there so many because you have like 20 million ovens you're gonna be making 20 million cookies i know are you underestimating my cookie eating ability axie yeah i mean can't you just eat like four cookies a day how would someone eat more than that well how do you eat over a hundred cakes a day the same way axie so how about this what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a bunch of cakes and a bunch of cookies split on this table and we'll see how many are left by the end of this build challenge oh gosh axie's already eating them so there probably won't be many left you know what Ludo? i can control myself i'm just gonna eat one more <laughs> uh, uh, axie you're eating a whole nother cake oh gosh that just goes to show that she really can't anyways though now that that kitchen is all cleaned up i'm just gonna fix the walls right over here here and set them to green wool and now it is looking like a true kitchen at least the kitchen i would want in my dream house okay Wudo, what else do we have to build and wait we forgot my ice cream bar oh yeah your ice cream bar axie luckily there's a whole nother wall over here where we can build exactly that so let's grab some ice and place it all over the place so that we can show how icy and cold it is in this area of the house. Whee! I'm gonna go ice skating. What? Don't go ice skating, Axie. This is the ice that you're gonna feed your customers ice cream. Remember? Wait, I didn't say anything about customers. I was just gonna eat it all myself. What? Axie, you're so selfish. You're supposed to share your ice cream, not just eat it alone. Okay, I guess I'll share it with you and maybe Mongo. Yay! Okay, well, in that case, I better get some icy slabs right over here and i'll also get some icy torches too how about you get some ice cream axie and start placing that on top of these slabs there's only one problem Ludo. what's the issue well i've never actually had ice cream i just heard someone saying they liked it so i don't actually know what ice cream is what you don't know what ice cream is oh gosh in that case i'm gonna need to give you this delicious piece of mint ice cream go ahead and try it and let me know what you think it's mint flavored finally ice cream nom, 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 nom. i hate this you take it back wait what axie why did you turn sick you don't like the ice cream i hate ice cream i'm gonna burn this all down no 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 axie stop it axie stop it you're gonna burn down the entire house i get it you don't like ice cream Cream, okay so how about this i'm sure you'll like ice cake instead right hmm i like cake but i don't like ice cream so i guess this will be okay just give it a shot maybe you'll really like it okay um oh gosh did axie just get frozen because she's eating that cake axie are you okay let me out oh gosh i think axie Axie got a massive brain freeze. Look at her trapped in the ice. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, Axie, relax. Relax. You're fine now, okay? I think your brain just got a bit of a brain freeze, and that's why ice kind of spawned all over the place. No, you tricked me, Ludo. You knew that would happen. What? No, I didn't. Don't say that. Okay, you know what? I think it's time for us to move on from this floor and work on the second floor before Axie he gets really mad at me. Ludo, you better make it up to me. Okay, fine, Axie. I think I have exactly the thing to make it up to you. Do you know what this black wool means? It means there's black wool on the ground? No, silly. Black wool is the start of a racetrack. And I have the coolest way for us to transport ourselves from floor to floor inside of our secret volcano. Look at what What's happening right down here axie this is going to be where we can start a race and then we can race down to the second floor of the secret volcano house and that's gonna be really really fun whoa that actually 
sounds awesome. You like the idea of that, Axie? Aw, look at you. You're already feeling a lot better. Come on, Wudo. Build faster. Okay, okay. Here we go, Axie. I'm building the giant floor right now, and it's going to take you all the way downstairs. You see this big area we have over here? Yeah. This is where the second floor is going to be, and this floor is going to be even more exciting than the first floor because we can do whatever we want down here, Axie. So, if we can do whatever we want, we can fill this place with axolotls. What? No, don't fill it with axolotls, Axie. We still need some space to build some things down here. You know what I want to build down here? A giant statue of me? What? No, you're already big enough in my life, Axie. I don't need a statue to remind myself of you. Instead, I was thinking we should build a giant gaming cave down here where we can play whatever games we want 24-7 and nobody can stop us. Why does someone need to game in a cave? Because it's 10 times cooler that way. Duh. So come on, Axie. How about I grab some really cool looking tables and we start putting down some super cool gaming setups. Okay, what kind of games are we going to play? Well, every game, of course, but hold on a second. I need to get some really fancy ones. I'm going to give us a couple of options, okay? Okay. All right, I'm just picking out a couple more. Ooh, these all look so, so fancy. I can't wait to try these out, but I think I have my options. Check it out, Axie. We have all these different tables that we can choose to game on. Which table's your favorite? I like none of them. None of them? Are you serious, Axie? I know for a fact that this shiny white one over here is the one that I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and place them all over here so that we can all game together. Hey, why did you even ask me if you didn't care? Because, Axie, I just wanted to know what your opinion was. But anyways, now that I figured that all out, we can choose what chairs to game on. Do you have any idea what good chairs we can use, Axie? Is there a dirt chair? A dirt chair? No, silly. A dirt chair wouldn't be exciting to sit on, but I have all these different chairs we can sit on. Check out how cool they are. Ooh, I like this really short one. Wait, really? I actually kind of like that one too, Axie. It looks like it has a big pillow for my butt to sit on, so it should be perfect. I'm gonna place him right over here. And in that case, you can eat as many cookies as you want, because even if your butt gets really wide, it'll still be fine. Um, I guess so, Axie, but hopefully I don't get too fat from eating all those cookies. Anyways, now that I got all that figured out, what I can do is I can add a computer monitor. Do you know what type of computer monitor I'm gonna have? Well, a monitor is something that lets you watch your computer, right? Like you can spy on it. Exactly! So, in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a painting, which we'll use as our computer monitor. I can even grab this painting right over here, and I can customize what I want to watch on it. See how cool this looks? Okay, Ludo, I finished my own computer monitor. Wait, what? You did? What did you put there in? What, Axie? That's just a camera. Yeah. I'm monitoring the computers. Monitoring too literally, silly. I was just joking about that type of monitoring. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm just gonna put these down over here and then what else I can do is I can go and grab a cool keyboard. To get a cool keyboard, I'm just gonna use a pressure plate and I can choose from all these different designs for my keyboard. I'm gonna grab this green one because I think it looks the coolest. Okay, you can use a green one, but I'm going to set up more computer monitors. Wait, what? No way, Axie. Look at this. These keyboards are looking amazing as they are. And there's no way that yours are going to look any cooler than mine. They do. 
and I can watch these computers all day long. Okay, okay, fine, Axie. I guess you can. Let me just put down some more screens using these blocks just like this, which will automatically figure out the correct resolution for our screens. In the meantime, Axie, do you want to install some games on these computers? What? I'm having fun stepping on the keyboards. What? No, Axie, don't do that. That's how you're going to break the keyboards. And these keyboards were really expensive because I chose the fanciest ones for us to use. But you just pulled them out of your inventory. Well, duh, obviously. Or else how would I place it? Anyways, Axie, I think our gaming area is all complete. And I can't wait to play Minecraft and Roblox. Oh my gosh, those are some of my favorite games. Don't you think so? Hey, you just destroyed my monitors. Those weren't monitors, Axie. They're just security cameras. We'll put those outside of our base so we can monitor who's coming in and out, okay? Monitor this, Wudo. I'm leaving. No, 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 Axie. I'm sorry. Look, I'll make it up to you, okay? I have something really cool that I want to build you next. What? I'm just going to sit here until you're done. No, Axie, look, you're really going to love it. It involves some really tough blocks like steel. I don't care about steel. I liked my monitors. Okay, well, look, you're going to really like monitoring this, Axie. You see, we're going to have a lot of valuables if we're going to live inside this volcano house. And obviously, because it's a secret volcano house, we're going to need to keep everything a secret, right? I guess so. Well, in that case, we're going to need a safe to secure all of our secrets and make sure that no one like Mongo can get in and find our secrets. Which is why I'm going to build the ultimate security vault, which is made out of thick steel to make sure that nobody can break inside and to also make sure that we can keep a close eye on our valuables. Does that make sense? Why don't you just lock me in here while you're at it? Wait, what? Axie, don't be sad. I was just going to show you something really cool that you're going to love because I have a very a very secret cake. A, a cake? Yes, Axie. This is the most expensive cake in all of Minecraft. It is an enchanted golden cake. Cake! <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, Axie. You're not supposed to eat all of it yet. This is for the vault, silly. I feel so proud. Well, at least Axie's feeling a lot better and she's not mad at me anymore. So while I put some cakes in here, I'm also going to grab some really valuable blocks like some raw gold because it's worth a lot of money. I'm also going to go ahead and grab some diamond blocks too so that we can place them all over and make sure that our diamonds and other valuables are all safe. And I think that pretty much completes our ultimate secure vault. I guess the only other thing that I want to put in here is to grab a book just like this and I'm going to write inside of it something called Mongo's Diary. And wait, what? What is that noise? And oh, Axie! I'm racing down the track, but it kind of fell off. Axie, that's not a race card. That's a shopping card. Where did you get that from? Oh, I went outside and it was just lying there. I thought it was a super cool, expensive car. Well, yeah, it does look like a pretty expensive car. But hold on, Axie. I was just about to put a fake Mongo's diary in here so that I could pretend like I stole Mongo's diary. And then he's going to want to get inside the vault, but I'm not going to let him. <laughs> Udo, I'm stuck. Wait, what? You're stuck on what, Axie? This wall. What? Okay, hold on a second. I just need to put down some reinforced glass, okay? So that I can make sure that nobody's able to get inside. Hehehehe. <laughs> Give up on driving. Clearly, Axolotl shouldn't drive. Aw, don't say that, Axie. I'll help you in a second. Let me just put some keypads right over here, and Mongo's going to need to guess 
the password to each of these. But don't worry, I'm putting a really secure password that Manga will never be able to guess. Do you even want to try and guess what it is, Axie? It's probably one, two, three, four. Oh gosh, wait, what? How did you find out about my secret password? What do you mean? That's my secret password. Wait, what? How could two people have the same secret password? What if it's also Mongo's secret password? Okay, don't worry. This is why I kept a backup secret password. And the backup secret password is going to be four, three, two, one. Haha, <laughs> no one will be able to know my secret password then. Oh, phew, Mongo will never guess that one. Exactly, but now that the secret vault is all finished, I can build one more really, really, really important thing down here that is the key to why my secret base is going to be better than Mongo's. Oh, what is it? Well, you see, Axie, I'm just a normal turtle, but I want to try some fashion so that I can look like a rich fancy turtle and in order to do that I'm gonna need a fancy wardrobe so that my clothes look better than Mongo's king clothes but Udo you don't wear clothes of course I do Axie at least I'm gonna start wearing some really fancy ones so why don't you try and help me pick out some really fancy clothes for me to wear and impress Mongo with Okay, I'll look right now. All right, and while you do that, I'm just going to continue placing down this really, really fancy golden glass. I'm even going to make the racetrack go straight in between this closet, but not just any closet, a fancy closet, so that Mongo gets jealous from all the cool armor I have. There we go. I just need to add these last few glass blocks just like like this and check it out Axie and now I have this entire area dedicated to my wardrobe Pluto, I think I picked out the perfect outfit for you you did oh my gosh I'm so excited to see this and what the heck is that Axie can you please explain it's fashion try it on um okay I guess I'll try this on let me just take it off just like this and I'm gonna put it on and um what in the world, Axie? This is not fashion. I look like a loser. Put the shoes on, too. What? Now I look even more goofy. I'm not supposed to wear this outfit. You look so cool. You should show Mongo your new outfit. No way. I'm not going to show him this ridiculous outfit. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take off these clothes. And I'm going to make this area look even fancier than it was before. Remember? Remember, Axie, I only want fancy clothes in here, not any weird random clothes. Oh, okay. Let me try again. Perfect. Thanks, Axie. And while you do that, I'm just going to finish cleaning up the sides of the walls just like this. And now it looks like a truly legit fashion area. Ooh, what are you thinking of, Axie? Please tell me you're thinking of something good to give me. Okay, Udo, I think I have the perfect outfit. You do? Oh, gosh, let's see this, Axie. I'm excited. Put them all on now. Um, okay, that's kind of weird. You just dropped me them randomly. Let me put them on. And what in the world is this, Axie? Did you just give me a bikini with shoes and a straw hat? You're not even wearing the right shoes. Are you kidding me, Axie? I don't want to wear this oh my gosh i look like a loser now okay okay i have one more outfit for you and you're gonna like this one. Oh no this is bad axie's making me look like a fool but what is it axie take these what in the world why does it look like a giant poop outfit let me put it on and what in the world you made me look like a wizard i thought they 
look more like dirt, but you look pretty cool, actually. Like a big nerd. Ew, I don't want this stuff. Get this off me. How about we build something way cooler instead, okay? How about I take these armor stands and I start lining them up against this beautiful gold counter? And then, Axie, can you put some of those outfits up on here so I can see how they look? Okay. All right, let me also search some for myself as well because I can't take Axie serious. I need some really cool outfits if I'm going to be down here. So let me grab this cool green looking outfit down here. Ooh, there's some other fancy ones too. How about I grab this Dragonite armor? That looks super duper cool. Now I can put my outfits right over here just like this and I can even add some other cool ones let's see how about i grab this nightmare armor oh, this looks so so cool and scary i bet i could totally make mongo poop his pants and axi what is this why did you give me undersea diving gear as an outfit it looks super cool doesn't it just like those people who go to space what in the world? That's an astronaut, not a diver. Oh my gosh. Let me just get one more piece of armor to really complete it. I'm gonna grab this fancy purple looking armor and it looks so shiny and... Wait, what is this? This is literally a chef's outfit, Axie. Why did you place that here? It's what you should wear when you're making cookies, obviously. Okay, fine. I guess that's the one outfit that's like decently okay but if i'm gonna see any of these outfits at all i better have a mirror so i'm gonna grab some fancy mirrors just like this and i'm just gonna place them all over the place so that i can admire how amazing i look with my brand new outfits right axie yeah i think we're almost ready to show mongo i think we're pretty much almost ready too axie can you please put some guardrails over here so that the cars don't accidentally crash into my beautiful armor and while you do that i'm gonna grab some keypad doors just to make sure that nobody can steal my clothes while i'm not watching why would anyone want to steal your stinky clothes hey what you chose the clothes axie remember that yeah mine are fashionable the ones you chose are boring what don't say that Ugh, okay you know what axie i I think this is pretty much complete. All I need to do is go back here and make sure that everything is ready. I see that I have this amazing second floor now with the gaming setups and the vault and then I can go upstairs where I'll have my amazing race car placed down. So let me just get some of those real quick. Ooh, I'm gonna choose some really cool ones. I'm gonna have this car. Mongo can go in the shopping cart and then axie can drive this pineapple pineapple i want a real car that's a pineapple it's a real car what are you talking about its little smile is pretty cute oh look it has a smile just like you axie and you can drive it whenever you want but just for now i'm gonna leave it parked right over here okay uh Ludo, i think i crashed it oh my god you got into a pineapple car accident. Well, I guess he has become victim of the mud you placed here. So we'll just let him be. Anyways, I have my bathroom over here in the living room. I think it's time to show Mongo Axie. What do you say? Yeah, his face is going to be super lame compared to ours. Hold on a second, Mongo. Is this your volcano that you built over here? Oh, hey, Wudo. Hey, Axie. Axie, wait a second. Axie, where did you come from? He <laughs> definitely not helping Wudo build. Wait, what? You weren't helping me build, Axie. Why would you say that? I said I wasn't. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't hear what I just heard. But guys, look, this is my amazing fantabulous volcano. What do you think? It looks more like an ancient artifact. Why is it shaped like a pyramid? Well, Wudo, building a volcano on minecraft is quite hard because you can't really build circular things but i'm gonna show you the inside that's where the real money is oh my gosh axie 
Mikey. Just look at our beautiful volcano compared to Mongo's. We didn't even get to make it erupt yet, but we will when he comes to our side, okay? We will? Okay. All right, let's just go inside and make him think that his volcano is good. Hurry up, guys. Whoa, look, we're inside this really cool volcano. Right, Axie? What do all these buttons do? Yeah, these are weird. Well, you need to find the right button to leave this room to go to the next one. Hey, there's a trap door. Exactly. We could just open it, Mongo. Duh. Oh, gosh. I thought you guys would get tricked, but you realize the trap door? Okay. Well, now you have to do some parkour. What? Parkour to get to my bedroom? What is this, Mongo? This isn't a house. This is some sort of trap. Exactly. It's supposed to be a dangerous volcano. But guys, now you have to pick between two doors. Do you want to go to the red room or do you want to go to the green room? I vote green. I vote green because green is the best color ever. Right, Axie? I don't really like green or red, so I'm just going to go this way. Okay, sure. I'm going to go in here and, um, what is this, bruh? This is literally just a bunch of skulls. Dead people! How did they get in here? This is what the green room is like, guys. As you can see, it's super spooky. Okay, well then let me guess. The red room is gonna be all fancy schmancy because you built it. That's right, Wudo. It's all sunflowers and rainbows. And is this supposed to be it, Mongo? This is where I'm supposed to sleep inside your volcano at night? Yeah, we can all sleep on the floor. Isn't this fun, Axie? Yeah, I actually really like it. This is the worst house ever it's not even a house it was just one big trap to fool me for liking the color green but don't worry mongo two can play at that game how about you come over to my massive volcano because it's about to erupt <laughs> What are you talking about, Wudo? I thought your volcano would be more tiny than mine. And what in the world is this, Wudo? How is this volcano this big? This is my giant volcano, Mongo. And now, because you've come next to it, I am going to make it erupt. <laughs> You're gonna make it erupt? Oh my gosh, that's gonna be scary because it's so big. Exactly! And as you can see, there is lava everywhere, and it's starting to flow down, which means that it's gonna take down your tiny puny volcano because it's so teeny weeny. No, Wudo, please don't get rid of my volcano. That's so messed up. I'm sorry, Mongo, but I have no choice. Should I keep placing more lava, Axie? Or is this already scaring Mongo and making him poop his pants? I don't know. You could put more, but I want to show him the inside. Oh, yeah. That's probably a good idea. I'm just placing down a few more buckets of lava. And wow, our volcano actually looks really sick. We'll see what it looks like once it fully erupts once we're inside the volcano. But for now, I guess, Mongo, you can come inside and check out what our volcano house has to offer. You need to go inside the volcano like this. Whee! Whoa, this volcano is super hot. I literally feel like I'm sweating so much. Don't worry, Mongo. That's just part of the experience. Once you've come down here, you are automatically inside my house. What do you think? Wait a second. You actually built a house inside of a volcano? Is this your giant bed? Exactly, Mongo. And I even have a nightstand with plenty of cookies and milk so that I can eat all of these before I go to bed. Hey, you're not supposed to eat my cookies. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not done. What? You're drinking my milk too? Ah, that was delicious, Wudo. Thank you. Uh, you know what, Mongo? You're banned from coming in my pool then. And as a matter of fact, I think this is a good time to show Mongo his bedroom. Right, Axie? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
it's right this way. Wait, I have my own bedroom. You guys are the best friends in the world. Uh, sure, Mongo. Just come inside over here. You just have to go past my giant luxury bathroom. Mmm, smells so nice in here. What up, did you poop? Yeah, and my poops smell like roses. <laughs> Wait, what? I only have a toilet? Yep, it's just like your volcano, Mongo. You can sleep on the floor or the toilet, whatever you want to do. Ah, you guys are so nice. You built me my own private bathroom. You guys are awesome. I love you. Now, uh, where is my actual bedroom? Okay, um, should you break it to him or should I? Yeah, Mongo, that is your bedroom too, by the way. That's why there's a sign that says, Mongo's room. Wait, what? Why would my room be in a bathroom? Come on, guys. Stop pranking me. Let me see my actual room. Is it this part over here with all the TVs? I can sleep on the couch. Um, no. You're not allowed to sleep there, Mongo. This couch is exclusively for watching our videos. So I can have one of your videos playing and I can have one of my videos playing at the same time. So that one of my eyeballs watches this video and then the other other eyeball watches this video and uh Mongo, did you get brain freeze what oh i ate the ice ice cream and now i have brain freeze oh gosh axie you can see that this guy's totally dumb and he didn't learn his lesson <laughs> thing are you calling me dumb no i was just kidding oh my gosh guys why is there a staircase here wait what a staircase <gasps> hold on mongo that's not just any staircase get over here you're supposed to go down to the second floor with a cool car i think i stole axie's car axie come on let's go i'm just gonna run down this car is so sick and now i just drove to the second floor whoa this must be my bedroom you guys are so awesome uh manga i hate to break it to you but this is supposed to be my gaming setup as you can see i have one two three four five six different gaming setups for us to game on for me and all of my friends of course it's okay Wu. I'll just make a giant bed so I can sleep with all the gamers. Wait, what? Uh, okay, fine, Manga. I guess you can. But while you sleep, you're going to have to suffer the pain of looking at everything inside my secret vaults that you won't have access to, such as my diamond blocks, golden blocks, enchanted golden apple cake, oh, and your diary that I stole from you. <laughs> Okay, you know what? It's time to bring out my trusty old pickaxe. I call this the Axie pickaxe because it is so small. Ready, Wudo? Uh, Mongo, there's no way you're going to be able to break in. And what? Yeah. How did he do it? The password didn't even matter. And there you go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me just eat all the diamonds. What? Mongo, don't eat diamonds. You're going to get sick. Sick. Oh, gosh. I have to get him out of here. Wait a second, Wudo. What's in this room? Well, this is my super exclusive VIP wardrobe because I got Drip Mongo, which means that I have the coolest outfits ever. Check them all out. Hold on, dude. I'm about to put on this outfit. Oh, wow. I think that outfit was exclusively reserved for you, Mongo, because you look pretty good in a bikini. Thank you, Wudo. I thought it looked better on you, Wudo, since you're not wearing any clothes. What? Don't say that, Axie. I think I look way cooler with this samurai armor on because I look like a ninja. Hiya! This was a great volcano house, Wudo, but I still think my one is better. Oh, yeah, Mongo. Well, why don't we go outside and see if your volcano was able to survive my volcano's blast? <laughs> Um, Wudo, your volcano is too far away from my volcano to do anything. But whoa, check it out. All the lava flowed from our volcano, Axie. And now this is actually the coolest volcano that I've ever seen in Minecraft. We're 
we're going to live here forever. My one is better, so we should let the viewers decide. Guys, come in Mongo's Volcano if my one is better. Hold on, Mongo. I can make that really easy. All I need to do is fly over to your volcano like this, and I just need to throw one lava dynamite, and now it's going to blow up and burn. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, then watch another video on screen. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Bye.